Okay friends, it's time to get started on replacing our spark plugs. Now whenever you do one spark plug, you want to make sure you do all four. The process will be the same for all. Something that I'm going to mention about this is as you start removing your ignition coils, if you were to remove all of them at once and set them aside, you want to make sure you put them in a specific order so you don't mix them up. With that said, let's get started. Before we get started, let's clean off the top of the engine where all of our ignition coils are located. Once the top of the engine's clean, let's continue by removing the wiring harness that leads to our ignition coil. Looking at the wiring harness along the top where my thumb is, you're gonna find a squeeze tab. Carefully squeeze on that and then pull it off of the ignition coil. Once you have it off of there, give it a quick inspection for corrosion. If you see any funny colors, that's something that's gonna need to be dealt with. Ours looks fine, so I'll set it aside. With that out of the way, let's move along to our one 10 millimeter headed bolt that holds the coil to the engine. Grab onto the coil, give it a little twist, and lift it up and away from the engine. There it is, friends. At this point, it's always a good idea to blow out the port where your spark plug's gonna be located. Now we're gonna continue with a 5 8 spark plug socket. It's important to make sure you use a spark plug socket because inside it has a rubber grommet that'll hold the spark plug for you. If you don't and you only use a 5 8 socket, you could potentially break the spark plug in the hole or you might just have an issue getting it out of there. Once you have your spark plug out of there, it's a good idea to give it a quick inspection. Generally, down by the electrode is the area that you want to pay attention to. That's the area that's going to show you how much wear is on the spark plug, and if you see any funny colors, such as maybe white or something the like, typically that means you're burning something inside the combustion chamber that you shouldn't be, possibly coolant. This one looks fine, I'll set it aside. Okay friends, now it's going to be time to install our brand new spark plug. But before you go ahead and put it into your spark plug socket, and then put it into the engine, have a look at this area where the electrode is. You want to make sure this did not get damaged in shipping. If it looks like it's peened over and hitting up against the electrode down on the lower area here, that means that you have to replace the spark plug with a new one. This one right here looks good. I also want to mention that typically you want to check the gap on spark plugs, but on this type of spark plug with an electrode like this, you do not want to actually touch anything on that because you will damage the metal. Just go ahead and give it a quick peek, make sure it's not peened down, and let's get ready for our installation. We'll put that right into our spark plug socket. Now I'm going to put it into the engine and bottom it out by hand. Once it's bottomed out, torque that to 13 foot-pounds. All right, let's go ahead and install our ignition coil. Before you go ahead and put this in and on the spark plug, it's a good idea to use a little bit of dielectric grease right inside this center hole here. That's gonna help keep moisture from the area. Take that ignition coil, carefully slide it in and press it down. Line up your bolt hole. Start your bolt in there by hand and bottom it out. Now we'll torque this to 80 inch pounds. Move along to reconnecting your electrical connector. Listen for a click, give it a tug to make sure it's secure. At this point, the process will be the same for all. After that, go ahead and start it up. Make sure you don't have a check engine light and take it for a road test. Thanks for watching.